Hello everyone, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Today is just a mini nail haul to show you the things that I've acquired and purchased over the last couple of days. The first thing I got, I've already opened, is a little pink pencil pin pot. I use it for my nail art brushes. I needed one to hold them. I thought it was cute. It's pink, my favorite color too. There's a lot of brushes in there. Looks like it's roses, flowers. Die cut into there. And my next one is, I already opened this off, so it's a small mini fan. Because I do get warm when I do my nail art. So I like to keep myself cool. It has three speeds on it. If you can hear that. It's cute. Swivels. Also pink again, my favorite color. And next thing is the I got some more nail art brushes. They are the fine nail art brushes. I do need some of those. They're really fine. You can see. And those are by Cads. And the next thing is, I already opened this. I seen um, Kirstie Meekin when she, I do a lot of work with gel pots and I need to clean my brushes in between each color. So she had taken a little glass dish like this, um, similar. She put lint free wipes in the bottom and some acetone and then she could clean her, you know, her nail art brushes in between her different colors without wiping them individually. Just seemed to make it, you know, a bit more easier. This is actually, it's a dampened dish. And I thought it was, when I received it first opened it, I thought it was quite big for a dampened dish. But some people on Amazon were complaining it was too small. I'm like, bloody hell, how big do you want that dampened dish? But anyways, I thought it'd be, you know, useful for to clean my brushes. And the next thing is, I got these from Poundland. Poundland, um, in the States, if you're in the States, that's like Dollar General, the Dollar Tree. That's what like Poundland is. I got these, are body glitter. But I think I can use this for nail art. One is pink glitter. It's pretty pink. Love pink. If you know me, I love, love pink. The other one's like holographic glitter. You can tell in there. Holographic. It's like chunky glitter. I got those each for a pound or say a dollar. That's what I got them for. And the next thing is got these. It's black and white gel polish, a UV. Um, I think it's Misahishi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Misahishi, M-I-Z-H-S-E. It's um, they're 18 milliliters each. Did free tip guides with it. I don't really use those, but I, maybe I'll do something with them. And they're like I said, 18 milliliter, and they're cute little pink bottles. Um, I go through a lot of white and black, you know, gel polish with my designs. So I've been using these. Cause I've yet to get model ones. I love model ones, but I can't find the black and white on Amazon. And I've been using these by the Shine, and they're they're almost empty. They're okay, but not. They're just they're okay, adequate. But um, let's see. This one is, I believe, the yeah, the black. One. And this is the white. People were complaining too that they didn't receive a full 18 milliliters in their bottle so I'll see as I go along but I do love these bottles and like I said I go through a lot of black and white polish so they'll come in handy okay and the next thing is I got these ombre tools I do a lot of ombre too and I've been using those um <laughs> hold on I have been using these the wedges and they are just too messy for me, so I thought I'd get this ombre tool. Hopefully, it'll make my, you know, make it much more easier. They come with uh, two heads, one pointed one and one rounded one. You get four replacement heads. Um, I think you just squeeze it out of there. Anyways, I just thought it'd be, you know, let's see, you know, pretty simple, maybe cleaner to work with. I'll give that a go maybe next week when I do another ombre set. brushes just thought they were cute I like the design on them 
And one's a angular, one's a pointed, one's a flat, and one's another rounded brush, more angular. Just different art brushes from Amazon also. And the next thing is this little checkerboard. I wanted something, I do, I use these at the moment. These little nail stands, I take one individually. I like them, but I, I wanted something where I could do this, put it all on the, like this. And I could, you know, just hold that and paint them, polish them easier. See if that works for me. I see people all the time using these on um, YouTube, so I'm gonna give it a go. It comes with 12 pieces, black and white. It looks like a little chessboard. And you got the little pink nail stand. Anything to make it easier. And the last thing I got is these water transfer decals. I've never used these, so I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see how it goes. It looks like pop art retro. You got Marilyn Monroe, you got like um, popcorn. You got like hot dogs and you got Audrey Hepburn, more retro, another Marilyn Monroe. Looks like these are superheroes. It's Wonder Woman, it's like Spider-Man, tongue, lips, different, different details. And this one I got also from Amazon. It's also got like um lips and Couples and the rain umbrellas, different retro things on a bike, different women's faces, ballerina, another ballerina, another couple. This looks very retro to me. I'll give it a go. I think the other water transfers. I never worked with them, so like I said, I'll give it a go. Anyways, that completes my little mini haul. Not much, but a few things I accumulated. I did do a set earlier. I'm just working on it now, editing the tutorial. But it's my, as I call it, a lemon lime set. So I will be downloading that tutorial later on. That's it. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.